Silver Surfer Black Issue 1 sees Noran Rad know that throughout the universe he is seen to some as a saviour, the hero known as the Silver Surfer, but there is another name he is known by, whispered on the lips of the Forgotten. That name is Death, as he stood by idle as he ushered Galactus to thousands of worlds to feed on the planet and its people. Because of this he hears their songs and screams every day, and because of it he explodes against the void, speeding through space to make himself a shining guiding star for those who feel abandoned in the abyss. In the present, Noran along with countless other guardians and space heroes have been thrown into a black hole by the Black Order. Using Ghost Rider's chain and Stormbreaker, Silver Surfer rides the Tachyonic Maelstrom, catapulting his allies out of the black hole in hopes that in his absence they will aid the galaxy. As he goes through the storm, his body is pulled apart and unmade, but he still has an unfinished mission ahead of him as more heroes fall through the void. Summoning the power cosmic, he begins to tear the void apart, causing a breach to form, allowing the heroes to escape. Silver Surfer, however, isn't lucky enough, surrendering himself to the black hole as he's enveloped by it, broken down again and again. He falls through the black void for what is years, slowly healing from the damage done. Reaching out with his cosmic awareness, he feels the stars flicker and die. He knows that something is killing them and he can't let that happen. So summoning what little power he has left, calls his board to him, flying towards a darkened planet that makes him feel a chill, and it reeks of rot and decay. There he meets three sentinels, asking them for help. Instead of help, he only finds violence as the beings attack him, saying that their master is God. Surfer uses his powers to fight them, and even though he is outnumbered, he isn't afraid. The beings overpower him, using the planet to pin Noran to the ground and cut his board in half. Noran still controls the board, using it to knock down the beings and free himself from the ground. He soon takes them all down, telling them to yield, but they refuse, stabbing Noran and pinning him with one of their swords. Silver Surfer refuses to go quietly, saying that he is a blazing light in the abyss and he ignites and shines. He explodes in light, destroying all of the darkness surrounding the planet, revealing the green grass and the rivers of the world, but it came at a price as his hand is now consumed by the darkness. The centuries lie defeated, but the monolith that they were defending still stands. Going towards it, it creaks open and the darkness grabs the Silver Surfer pulling him in. The darkness is revealed to be Null, who says that the Surfer may call him God. Silver Surfer Black Issue 1 was an awesome first issue that builds on Donny Cates' Guardians run in a fun and interesting way, giving some much needed focus on Silver Surfer, a character who, outside of a few solo series, hasn't really had much to do lately. It's really cool that he seems to be going on quite the trippy journey into a black hole, as every page of this book was a visual feast. Weird and wonderful colours and shapes as Noran fell through the black hole, trying to rescue his friends. Donnie of course ties this back into the Venom stuff he's been doing by having the hero running to the symbiote god Null, so I'm looking forward to seeing what comes of that next issue and whether this is all just building towards his upcoming Venom stuff, so it all seems very interesting and I'm looking forward to seeing where it all leads to. I'm going to give this issue a 9.5 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS, or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans, including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.